Today I want to show you how to draw a pencil sharpener from different angles. It looks simple, but since it has a geometric shape, a small mistake in the basic outline drawing affects everything in your final drawing. That's why we need to follow some basic principles. For the initial design, it is better to use a lighter pencil or if your strokes came out too dark and too bold, transfer the sketch to another paper because in the next video we want to shade this together. In this case, our shape has two vanishing points, so we have to draw it in two point perspective. And since it is below the horizon line, we can see the top side of it. In one point and two point perspective, all the vertical lines must be drawn completely straight and vertical. But the lines I'm showing you now, I mean horizontal lines, go to the left and right vanishing points. If this is the first video you have seen about perspective, I have already made a video about it in which I explain this topic in details. I will put the link here in the description box in case you want to check them. To find the middle of each of these rectangles, we need to draw the diameters. I divide this upper section into two parts, then I want to divide these two parts again into two smaller parts. It means that this rectangle on the top side should be divided into four parts. After dividing it into four parts, connect the two central lines of these two rectangles that you drew with a curve so that you can draw the groove on the side of the sharpener. Then with two vertical lines, drag this groove to the bottom to find its location on the bottom edge. Now let's draw a circle here in perspective. To have a more accurate circle, let's use a square to draw the circle. Draw this square to the same distance from the top and left corners. The vertical lines should be perfectly straight and vertical and the top and bottom of the square should be parallel to the top and bottom edge. Again, to find the middle of this square, draw its diameter and then draw two lines to finally get a star shape to turn the square into four parts. These new lines helps us to enclose the circle inside the square much more easily. With the guidelines and this square, we can draw each quadrant of this circle in each of these four smaller squares. Now, in order to draw the blade in the place, draw a straight line from this line that I'm referring to because the blade is placed exactly on top of this middle line of the lower square. Extend the line and take it to the other side to the left vanishing point. Now that we determine the location of the blade, let's give it a thickness. Draw a line higher and also draw a lower line with less distance. And after the last line you drew, draw a curve and then a straight line that recedes back to the left vanishing point. Pay attention to the space between the blade and the curve that is placed here and look at your reference photo to observe the proportions correctly.
Now, before I draw the screw on the blade, I want to work on my strokes and lines a bit, give them a linear value and make them bolder. This process of darkening some of the strokes helps a lot to make your work more professional. Even if you don't want to shade your sketch, don't leave it with these unarranged basic lines. So apply more thickness to some parts and make some of your strokes darker. I don't want to shade my shape now, but this part in the middle of the shape is empty. So to show that this part of the pencil sharpener is empty, I want to darken it a little. As you can see in the reference photo, the corners and edges of the shape are not so angular and sharp. So with a darker pencil or with the same pencil but with more hand pressure, make these parts sharper by drawing some curves like this. I want to draw some vertical lines in this part to show that this part is not empty, but I can show it better later in shading process. Now let's draw the screw. As I said, since the object is below the horizon line, not only we see the screw itself, but also we see the top side of it. First you need to draw a thin line like this and then draw an oval. We can show the details of the screw better later in the shading stage. Now, if we put the pencil sharpener in front of us like this, we can say we have a one-point perspective situation. As you probably guessed, drawing this one in this angle is easier than the previous one. The only challenge here is to find the length of the shape accurately. I mean, you should correctly find the length of the sharpener that goes to the horizon line. The rest of the process of sketching this one and also the next one is quite like the previous one. The process is almost the same, but it can help you if you watch the process because the angle is different anyway.